Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. If you're brand new and you're just finding me, my name's Olivia. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video and clicking on. I am really looking forward to sharing with you today's haul. I have a haul from Old Navy and it is very spring and summery and just getting me into the mood for the warmer weather. I used to definitely dread some of the warmer seasons coming because uh, I never felt very comfortable in certain clothing and things like that, but I'm trying to like let that go and wear things that are sleeveless and you know kind of lean into not being so afraid to show off the curves. So we are looking at uh, a dip like I'm gonna try and categorize Old Navy when I look at it because it is very overwhelming. They have so many things to offer. So I'm gonna try and break each video down whenever I look at Old Navy. So today we have rompers, a jumpsuit, I think a one or two dresses as well. And in another video, I'm gonna focus on shorts from Old Navy, just because I can find it a little bit overwhelming when you're looking at Old Navy, but they have really cute styles. I have picked out some goodies. I also wanna let you know that I have all of the links down below if you are interested to shop. My measurements are also down there, but just so you know, I am 5'9 half, 38, 31, 42, and yeah. I think Old Navy has a really great size range. There is definitely something for everybody. Without further delay, let's jump into today's mid-size curvy Old Navy Spring Haul. Okay, so this one is such a cute little fit and flare dress. This one I feel like is an Old Navy staple, the style of it. They bring it back every single year in a different pattern, different color, maybe even slightly different um, cuts, but it is pretty much brought back every single year for I would say the last five years at a minimum, I always see this type of dress. So I have this one, it is a shorter little number. I'm wearing it in a size large, and I actually think a medium would probably fit a little bit better because I do have a lot of extra room here in the midsection, a lot of extra fabric, but I mean, you know, I don't want it super tight, but I do think a medium would just kind of cinch me in a little bit more at the waist. My waist is kind of lost in, in this just because the fabric just kind of glides over it. I would like it to cinch a little bit more and just kind of show off my shape. But overall, the cut of this dress is so flattering. It's nice and long. For it being a shorter dress, it's not coming super mini on me, which is very rare. I usually have the opposite problem. They're usually super hiked up and I have to find the long length if I'm gonna feel comfortable in a little summer dress. At the back, it also is smocked. So you are gonna have a little bit of extra room. It does provide a little bit of extra space. That's where I feel like a medium would be a better fit for me just because I feel like this is actually, it's almost a little bit loose back here. So I just feel a medium would be a better fit. Uh, and then the straps are adjustable. The other question I do get a ton, especially when it comes into the warmer months, is how do I get the confidence to wear sleeveless things, to have bare arms during the hotter months? And let me tell you, every single year for as long as I can remember, I wore cardigans, I wore blouses that at least were off the shoulder, things like that, so my arms were covered. I still do that. I still do gravitate towards something that covers my arms. I'm just more comfortable with it. It just feels like natural for me. However, I since last year have gotten into the habit of trying to, you know, make myself choose things that pull me out of that comfort zone a little bit. It gets hot and I don't always want to wear a cardigan. And believe me, I have. When it's been super hot weather, I have still put on something to cover my arms. And uh, I'm just, I want to, I just want to move on from that. You know what I mean? So we're going to do that together. That's it for this outfit. I think this is super cute overall and a very flattering dress, I think, on a ton of different body types. But let's move on to the next item. Okay, so I don't know if Obsessed will cover it when it comes to this jumpsuit. I absolutely love this. This is so beautiful. It is a floral wide leg jumpsuit and it has a square neckline. And I'm wearing it in a size large. And I wore this on Easter and I just felt so pretty in it. 
It is very, very feminine. It's almost a little bit like something I wore when I was little. Like it's a little bit youthful in that way, but I think it's so cute. Uh, but in an adult version, you know, something you can get away with. And it is a spring and floral style print with the white background. We've got little blue flowers on it with the green leaves and it's just so pretty. It's really, I think I said square neckline. It's not a square neckline. It is a, a slight little v-neck here in the middle. It, they're very similar to the jumpsuits that I have from last year that I'm so excited to be wearing again this year. The only thing I will say is I did get it in a large and a part of me does wish I got it in a medium. It does stretch out a little bit, so keep that in mind. I would be curious to see what the medium would fit like. I think it would be a little bit more snug in the waist, which I would be totally fine with, and I have a lot of room in the legs as it is, so I'm wondering if that was kind of the size I should have gone with. I do have one jumpsuit from last year in a medium, and it's a beautiful fit, so I feel like just keep that in mind. They make their jumpsuits a little bit roomier. Just, uh, just showing you guys from the back, you can see it does kind of nip in at the waist a little bit, and then it's just super wide and breathable throughout the legs. I just see this with a little denim jacket, like on a spring day, little white tennis shoes or sandals, and you are good to go. It's adorable. I did get this denim jacket as well. Uh, I, I had this in mind for one of the, for the romper that I got, which you'll see in just a minute, but I think this is cute with this jumpsuit. I just would prefer something shorter. So I think this denim jacket is, I mean, it's gorgeous. It's a really beautiful blue color and I'll show it a little bit better with the jumpsuit, but, or the, the romper. I just think it kind of takes away from the jumpsuit. So I would like something that's a little bit shorter so you can really appreciate the full length of the, uh, the floral jumpsuit. But this is definitely like a cute little summer outfit. Doesn't this look very spring? Like with the sunglasses. I feel so ready for summer with this type of an outfit. Okay, so for my girls who want something a little bit longer, I have this dress option because I wanted to try something that was a little bit more of a midi style. I personally love a midi style. They are very on trend and definitely something I think that flatters everybody. So like you can see here, they do come a midi length and it's just a nice flowy dress. It is smocked the full upper half and it's just a little flowy dress to the bottom comes nice and long and it again is a smocked off the shoulder top which I'm just obsessed with. I just think it's beautiful. It feels like a very country style dress and that makes me very happy. That makes me feel like summer and I could just see myself grabbing this on a really hot day, again, where I just don't wanna think about it and I just wanna throw something on that's gonna look really cute. This would definitely be that option. Again, if you are someone who struggles with bearing your arms and having something that's sleeveless, this could be a great option for you. However, I do wanna just say, I struggle with where the sleeves land. Though they are off the shoulder, they're cutting into the, the biggest part of my arm. And while I'm trying to be confident and just like forget about that, I do find I'm thinking about it, right? So I feel like that's the whole point of my journey of trying to push myself outside of my comfort zone. From the back, you can see the smocking carries all the way around, and I just think it's beautiful. I think that it is such a pretty detail and very, very summery, very feminine, and uh, I just am I'm obsessed with it. I also have to say, I think this would be a really pretty maternity dress. Uh, some of you have mentioned that you're going to be pregnant this summer. You want some styles that could also be good for maternity. I think look no further, because how cute is this with a little bump? I think that's adorable. I don't have a bump, but if I did, this would be super cute. Uh, so this is just a really fun option. I was so excited to show you guys this, and I love the color. I love that deep, dark denim look that it has. It's not denim, it just looks like it, and I think it's beautiful. Moving on to the next one. adorable and I just feel like I'm living my best eight-year-old self in a 30-year-old body. 
and that's just because this is an adorable little blue floral romper come on look how cute this is it's in a size large and i have to say a big thank you to old navy who's probably not listening but if they were thank you very much for giving us length giving us length in our short rompers because I find that is my biggest pet peeve when I try to purchase rompers from, you know, other stores. I want to look super adorable in something, but if I were to put this on and the shorts were really short, then it would automatically take it from being super casual and cute to really sassy, mildly inappropriate, and a little bit sexy when I want to wear it to like the park on a Saturday afternoon. We want, we want casual and we, we get it with the length. Do you know what I mean? So the fact that it lays right there is just perfect. And I still think if you are someone who is shorter than me, still gonna be a nice flattering length. They're not gonna be overly long on you. I get a lot of questions from you guys asking about longer shorts. If you're into rompers, this is a fabulous option. Coming up a little bit closer, you can see it does have a high square neckline, the little spaghetti straps. You are gonna wanna wear something strapless with this. By the way, my strapless bra is from Lively. Uh, I've I talked about it, I think, last summer. I still wear it. It's a black lacy strapless bra. It just fits phenomenally well, and it's very comfortable with something like this. This also has a little bit of cinching here at the waist, so I'm not losing my shape, and if it didn't have that, it would just drape all the way down, and then I would be kind of lost in something, and I just don't think that's as flattering for my body type. My vision for this outfit was with the denim jacket. I just thought they would be really cute together and something you could wear to you know to a picnic or going out running errands I think this would be really comfortable I like the jacket I'm just finding it's a little bit long I am wearing this in a size large like I wonder on someone shorter if it would come a little bit more oversized and long which I think is the point I just think something cropped for me would be better but I'm obsessed with the blue I think it's a beautiful medium blue medium to lighter blue color like how beautiful is that uh, I love it. I think with maybe pants or leggings or shorts. I think shorts with something like this would be fine. And a little maybe crop top underneath. I just need something to break up what's going on from the midsection so this doesn't look too, uh, too much of an awkward length. That's just kind of what I'm concerned about. But either way, I do like it. I think that it is a nice fit. Uh, really cute, but let's move on to my final outfit. Okay, so our final little number, this is another mini dress and I wanted to get something in a little bit of a different color palette. This one, again, it's still bright and it's still with the white background, but it has more of the pink and orange color flowers rather than the blues that I always find I'm drawn to. I do love pinks as well. I don't tend to gravitate towards like reds and orange and things like that, but I just thought this was really beautiful. It does have the smocked upper half here and it does have a high square neckline. I'm not 100% sure on how flattering this is on me. Uh, I think it is really beautiful, but having a bigger bust, I'm not sure this does a lot for me. I am wearing this one in a size medium. I definitely feel very comfortable in it. Uh, and it does have pockets, so, you know, we do love that. It is also, like I mentioned, a midi length. So you can see where this is hitting me. Uh, it is a nice, comfortable fit. I do feel covered up, but still at the same time, this is very lightweight, uh, and yet it's double lined which means you're not gonna see through the white and feel like you're on display. I also think this one with a little crop denim jacket, how adorable will that be? This is, this is really pretty. The more I look at it, the more I can see like going and picking strawberries or you know what I mean? Being in a field of flowers somewhere, this could be a beautiful little option. So that is gonna do it for my final item for my Old Navy Spring Haul. I'm really excited to hear what you guys think. Please let me know your favorite in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, I'm gonna definitely continue to see what, what we have at Old Navy for the summer. I think I wanna also do their bathing suits. Uh, I'm just gonna wait 
for a little bit of a sale and see what I can pick up because I think their bathing suits are really great as well. Uh, but let me know if you have any other suggestions or places that you would like me to highlight for spring and summer. I always love to, you know, to try and follow whatever you're interested in. So please let me know in the comment section down below. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you haven't already. It really helps out me and it helps out my channel. And of course, don't forget to hit the red subscribe button before you leave today so that you are here for future videos. Thank you again for watching guys. I can't wait to bring you more and more spring and summer hauls to come. So definitely stay tuned and uh, I hope you're having the best day wherever you are and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.